I made a video of the first time taking the boat out and here's how it started out. Here we are at beautiful Bridge Bay Marina on Lake Shasta and we have the boat in the water for the first time since 2011. Will the new engine fire? All right, we still have to fix the floor, but we'll get to that. So after that pristine, beautiful experience, um, <clears throat> the second part of that video did not go too well because everything went out of control and turned into chaos. Um, pulling out of the marina, I started it up, put it in gear, it was fine, gave a little bit of gas, and all of a sudden it started racing. The engine started racing, so we were speeding through the marina, we couldn't stop, my wife was going crazy, um, I had both kids on board. <laughs> And I couldn't turn the key off because there was a houseboat coming in right in our way. And then you turn the key off, you lose all steering ability. You're just kind of at the mercy of whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so it was a bad day. But we got so it motored out to safe water. Uh, you know, when I was trying to work on the engine, I was trying to pull it back into neutral. It wouldn't do it because the RPMs were too high. I put my wife on the on the steering wheel and she could not steer. She's like, where do I go? I was like, steer out of the way of the houseboat coming towards us. But um, she just was not getting it. So I took my 12 year old and I said, you steer. And he took over the helm and uh, steered us out to safety while I was trying to get the, uh, the uh, RPMs down. Uh, what happened was there was a bracket that was out of adjustment and I couldn't back the throttle down anymore because of the positioning of the certain bracket. So once we got out to safe water, we turned the key off, killed the engine, uh, adjusted everything, got the idle to a safe area to where we could actually shift, but it was still um, running really bad. And I thought, okay, well, maybe we're, we're through the, uh, um, the danger, you know, period. So we put everything back together and um, fired her up again and gave her a bunch of throttle and it would not go over like 2500 3000 rpm and it was it was chugging it was having a tough time backfiring hissing spitting so you know figured out it was the vacuum line that was off i put everything back together well i figured out after a couple days of researching what this certain vacuum line was coming off the uh the fuel pump so anyway Today, I put everything back together, uh, put the carburetor back on, hooked up the correct vacuum lines, and gave it some real bench testing today, and uh, here's, here's how that went. All right, we're at the shop here, and we're working on the boat again after our disastrous first run out. Got the hook hook, the hose hooked up, and uh, let's get in here and fire her up. Still working on repairing the floor there, but get the carburetor put back on and let's fire her up and uh, and see if we can get her going. Now I know the float bowls are probably empty um, because I just took the carburetor off and cleaned it. It's going to take a while to get some fuel up there, I think. Here we go. Got that. Give it a little more gas here. And the throttle popped off again. I need to put the cotter pin in. Come on, you swine throttle. All right. Okay, there, we'll put some starting fluid in it too. All right, so we got uh, all the vacuum lines hooked back up. This one on there, do I have the choke on? Oh, didn't put the electric choke back on. All right, let's do that. That'll be an extra, extra kick there. Okay, fired right up. Got the vacuum line hooked up. 
see if we got this thing fixed. All right, we got her fired up. She's idling. Let's see how the water pump's doing. So we'll run her through the RPMs. All right, right, right. Oh, oh, choked it out, choked it out. Okay, start it up again. Okay, let's check our uh, check our water pump here. Let's uh, rev up the RPMs a little bit, see how we do. Uh, see, that's how it's supposed to run. Maybe it was that vacuum line. Holy crap. Well, I put my family through hell for the day. All right, here we go. Yep. Rev it, push that button to not engage it in gear. All right, here we go. All right, let's, uh, let's put some RPM on this thing, see how it does. Okay, I want that down about 600 RPM. Seems to be running fine though. Let's back down the RPM a little bit. Right about there. Okay. Oil pressure, we are good. Sitting at about 50 to wherever pounds. We're about, uh, where are we on the RPM? We're about. Uh, about 900, or like two, four. Uh, yeah, about eight, nine hundred. Let's back it down a little bit more. Okay. That is running pretty low right there. The book says between five and seven hundred RPM for idle, or something like that. There you are, five. Six, seven. Let's see if we can get it just a hair lower. I don't know if it'll stall out. Seems like it's... All right, we've got it a little bit lower here. So our RPMs are sitting this damn fish finders in the way, five. All right, we're about 700 RPM, that's good. Let's, uh, let's run it through the RPM again into the higher revs and see if it backs down by itself without stalling out. Right, here we go. Push that in. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay, I ran her up to 5,000 RPM, and she backed right down to uh, about 700. Just idling, idling good. I think that might have been my problem. Let's uh, let's put it in gear now and see what it does. We're actually going to engage the prop. Okay, prop is engaged. Let's take a look at it. Make sure everything's spinning okay.
not making any clunking sounds. Let's raise the trim a little bit. That's a little too close to the uh, asphalt for my liking on the prop. Raise the trim just a hair. Okay. All right, let's, let's give it a little RPM now. We're in neutral now. Uh, give it the prop time to stop spinning. Let's try reverse. There we go, there's reverse. Okay. I think we're gonna start working on the uh, the gas tank and floor now. I made a new floor, it's over there on the ground. But uh, Man, I'd like to take this out right now and just test it. What's the engine temperature? Engine temperature is sitting about 160. It looks like no, that's the depth gauge. It doesn't work. Um, engine temperature. Focus. So that's good. You want it right there. That's what the book says between 160 and 180. We're pretty close to that. We're sitting like at 165 or so, so that's that's not bad. Putting out 13 volts. That battery's taking a charge. We've got a full tank. Okay. Shut her. Shut her down. Much better, much, much better. Wow.